Today you will learn how to batch create mockup fit front and back t-shirt template. So without much ado, let's get started. So I have this teen girl mockup image with front and back pose. First step is to create mockup template with two smart object layers. I want to place different design on the front and the back part of the t-shirt. So I'll grab this placeholder design and place it onto this image. Now using the anchor points, I will adjust this on the front part of the t-shirt. Now for the back part, I'll go again to the folder and grab the placeholder design again and place it on the back part of this t-shirt. Uh, once done, I'll hit on this check mark. You can leave it to this, but if you want to add realistic shadow onto this design, go watch this video. Uh, these two smart objects look same because we use the same placeholder design, but both of them are distinct. What if you want to place the same design on both the smart object? Like in this example of daughter mom mockup image. And I'll go to my folder and grab this placeholder design, drag it and place it on the design. Using the anchor points, I will adjust this onto the mom's t-shirt first. This standing in an oblique angle. So I'll right click and click on perspective to add a bit of perspective there. Now I want to add the same design on the child's t-shirt as well. I'll select this placeholder and press Ctrl G. This will create a duplicate copy. Now I'll drag this smart object onto the child's t-shirt image. I'll right click onto this layer and click on reset transform. So using the anchor points, I'll adjust the size, place it onto this child t-shirt. And this time around, I'll add the perspective on the opposite direction. So this looks nice. So again, we have a mockup template with two smart objects. But the trick here is both of these smart objects are linked. How linked? Let me show you. So I'll double click on this smart object layer and I'll try to change the color of this smart object uh, design. So I'll grab the hue saturation, change it to green. I'll go to file and click on save. When I go back to the mockup template, you see both the design, the color changes. However, the first mockup template that we created, these two smart objects were distinct. So if I double click on this smart object layer, and then again, I perform the same operation. Hue saturation, change it to green, click on file, save. You see, only one of the smart object changed. If you want to add same design on both the smart object layers or different design on the two smart object layers. Let us see how we can automate and batch create mockups with front and back t-shirt templates. So we have six t-shirt templates with front and back designs ready. So these are five designs that will go on the front part of the t-shirt. We have these five designs that will go on the back part of the t-shirt. So to automate and batch create this, we'll be using bulk mockups, multiple smart object feature. Uh, we will go and rename our smart object layers. So the smart object controlling the front part of the t-shirt design will be renamed to add direct design. And the smart object that controls the back design will be renamed to back design. We'll follow the same renaming on all the templates. For this template, we'll have the same design on both the t-shirts. So we'll leave the second one as it is. We will not bother about renaming it. Uh, you'll go to the design folder. So we'll separate our design files into two sets. One will be kept outside the folder and the other one will be kept inside the folder. So we have two smart object layer. The designs that you want to go into this actor design should be kept outside the folder. So these five designs, we go into actor design smart object layer and then we need to create a subfolder with the exact same name as the other smart object layer. So the other smart object layer name is back design. We need to create a folder with the same name. Please make sure the spelling of the folder and that of the smart object layer needs to match exactly including you know spaces and capital or small letters. So this is the setup that we have done. Now let us jump to bulk mockup and automate this. First we'll select the PST template folder. Next we'll select the design folder. The third option is for the export. So I'll create a new folder and name this export. Click on open. Now I'll select this process multiple smart object checkbox. By selecting this, bulk mockup knows that it has to work on multiple smart object layers. So now I'll resize the Photoshop window so that we can see the magic in action. So once I hit start generating, the magic will start. 
Thank you.